All right. <clears throat> we're back at it again. I was out of out of commission for a week, but we're here. Um what's up? I'm going to be doing Hope everyone's doing good. I'm going to be doing some playthrough with my Celtic Guardian deck that I've been working on in real life for a few months. Uh, not quite as long as the Summon Skull one I did a few weeks ago, but, um, still, it's been coming together pretty well. I'm gonna just do the Xyz Festival first, uh, cause the deck started out as, like, an Xyz deck anyway. Like, just a rank 4 Earth Warrior Xyz deck with, like, a little bit of Earth Barrier control and stuff. Um, I think when I made the deck, I... Whoops, sorry, I'll put it on the deck profile a little bit more while I talk about it. When I made the deck, I looked up a few videos. There really are not that many <laughs> profiles on Celtic Guardian. There's only nine of them in... Well, there's three distinct Celtic Guardian cards in the game, uh, so you can run nine total. Uh, and then just warrior support, uh, normal, level four support. Uh, and then I just, like, pulled a few level fours in real life. Like, I had pulled, I think, this, uh, this card, this card, Tornado Dragon, um... And, like, a few of the links in the, uh, Castell. I had pulled, uh, Dark Rebellion. <clears throat> so I had, like, a bunch of the extra deck, and I, had, like, already had a lot of these cards. Oh, I pulled, uh, Earth Barrier from... I got, like, a Mago a, lo a long time ago. And I got a bunch of those cards. Uh, I think I... Yeah, I just had pulled a bunch of these cards. Oh, Unexpected Die, I got, like, three of. I got three of each of these. So a lot of the deck was, like, already done at that point. Um... But anyways, I'm just going to hit up ranked. I feel like I've looked at the deck for long enough. Um, actually, I'm going to do the Xyz Festival uh, first. <clears throat> is what I meant to say. This has been really fun. The self-TKs were fun. That was fun to play for a day. <clears throat> um, but either way, I feel like Konami's really handled the change as well. How they updated it in like a single day. That was fucking crazy. They usually don't respond to anything. Um... Going second is fun with this deck because I like to see what they have and it's easy to respond because the whole extra deck is just kind of a toolbox of XZs. That's a little unfortunate, but that's fine. <laughs> At least we're going second. Um. Set path. Set two. <laughs> okay. The Weather Painter. I, like, got a bunch of these cards at one point, but I don't really know quite what they do. Uh, this card is banished. Okay, wait, hang on. Another face of Weather card you control is sent to the graveyard. You can target up to two. The Weather Spells traps in your graveyard. Place them face up in your spell and trap zone. Okay. Um. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, honestly, this is unfortunate because we don't have much, but I could just, I could just kill it with Celtic Guardian by forbidding chalicing my own card, which is a little lame, but, uh, we didn't really draw any extenders or combo pieces, which happens a lot with this deck. <laughs> Not a lot, actually. Um, I feel like the ratios are actually pretty good. Um, it's even better in the Link one because you can always just, like, Link Spider and do at least a little bit more off of that and get, like, a Link 2 out. Um, I'm actually just going to do this. Um, and see what he got. Um, I can do this during the battle phase, right? So I, like, shouldn't expose myself. Yeah, okay. Let's play around the imperm. Because fuck it. Oh, yeah? Uh, controls a monster, quick effect, you can banish this card, special summon the one, the weather monster from that, well, okay. Let's see how this resolves. I have not faced this deck yet, it seems pretty cool though. No, let's not do another one. Are you gonna use that effect? Because I think he just activated the continuous shift. <coughs> so let me kill it. Come on. <laughs> Lane. Hmm. 
Um, no. Okay. Main two. We're just gonna set this. Um, we're just gonna chill. Don't even worry about it, bro. We're playing Celtic Guardians. We'll be fine. <laughs> Jeez. No, yeah, that'll come back no matter what. Um, is that another level three? Yeah. All right, cool. I see. I see. Uh, these are Earth as well. Well, are they all? No, they have different elements. Um. No. So it seems like the trap just lets you recycle them all out of your deck, pretty much. If I just Forbidden Chalice my own guy again, why I just live? No. <laughs> Damn. Um, well, I can't stop that. Fairy monster? Are they all fairies? Okay, cool. This is another fairy deck, other than Drytron. Wow. <laughs> the weather spell trap from your deck in case of well okay I probably should have stopped that but hmm interesting okay um hmm. at the start of the damage set if it battles opponent's monster you can banish this card return that opponent's monster to their hand this card's column and it's adjacent column so anything here hum Oh, that's a humdinger. They all they both have that effect, so even if I like give them any attack, it won't really matter. Um I don't usually use forbidden gels to give my guys attack, but hey. It's fine. If it can't do like huge damage, then this might be okay. Start of the damage step. Yeah. Because if I can get out like another extender or something like unexpected die or a goblin bird or well rescue rabbit won't work anymore but <clears throat> the other celtic guardian okay that's weird but it works uh <laughs> hmm okay i can't stop that yeah Okay, so all the monsters gain the effects of the continuous trap card. So if I Forbidden Chalice this guy, oh man, then I then he will have too much attack for double or nothing. Because I was just going to Utopia double him and hit him with 10,000 damage and kill him. But if I uh, give him Forbidden Chalice, he'll have 100 life points left, which is unfortunate. Uh, I really need to get just those traps out of the way, honestly, if I can. Um probably the best play but <clears throat> hmm. Ooh, I can forbid and chalice that one yo wait does that work oh man come on did he already do that I think he already did that at the start of this turn like I think he did like that was part of the beginning of this turn um Oh wait, does each of them gain that effect as a quick effect? If your opponent controls a monster, quick effect can banish this card, especially summon one weather monster to from your deck. Hmm. You can't special summon other monsters from the deck for the rest of this turn. Activated this in the graveyard. Activated this also in the graveyard? Question mark. Damn.
I'm pretty sure they already used that effect this turn. And if not, I'll just try to forbid it. And I'm just going to go for it. I don't care. It'll be fine either way. Just like... Okay. <laughs> okay, let's pop this. Discard this. This is why we run it at two. We double up on the double or nothing. Oh my god, skill drain. Holy shit. Um, hmm. That works on all of his cards too. Uh, hmm. Damn, boy. Really running that control. Okay. Hmm. I guess we just like... I don't know. Yeah, I guess we just pass on them. Damn, skill drain though. This is not looking too good. <laughs> I would say at least I still get medals from losing, but uh, I've already gotten to the 3200 threshold where the medals start like tapering off pretty hard. Um, that being said, I still need to do a couple of the, like, collectible missions for the XEs Festival, so I am going to still run this for a little while. Um, but I'll do ranked after that. Um, with, like, a better version of this deck, maybe for a little bit, and then I'll probably switch to something else, but... Do you want to show off them Celtic Guardians, you? Nah, you're good. <laughs> Go for it, bro. Weather Painter. Yo, I've never seen this deck played before, so it's like kind of cool to see how it goes. Uh, kind of wish I had Lightning Storm, though, because that would be kind of hot. Uh, if I had had that like a couple turns ago, that would be pretty hot. Uh, or Harpies. Um, if I get it now, the problem is I don't think it helps, because I still can't get out like two monsters <laughs> if I drew all of the Celtic Guardians. That's not very good. Um... I think we just set pass and then we just rage. Um, <laughs> one more turn, sir. Don't kill my monster. Please don't kill me. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I think we out of this one, boys. But that's okay. Feel like. At least compared to the Summon Skull one I made, this deck at least has... Well, the, the non xyz version of this deck has, like, a lot more options. Damn, he got Harpies? That hurts. Um, oh, I should have activated Fiendish Chain, because I need that for the fucking XC's event thing. You're supposed to activate trap cards. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it still counts for the rewards if you activate the trap card, even if it gets destroyed, because you still activated it. Yo, why did he give me this? You can banish one of them as a quick effect, I think. And return it to the hand or something. So you recycle the kaiju over and over again. True. I faced a deck like that a minute ago, but then I just put out Earth Barrier Statue and they couldn't, like, kaiju me. Because they were also running Gamasio. <coughs> they were also playing Gamera. But, uh... Yeah, they actually can't kaiju you if you Earth Barrier Statue them or any of the other barrier statues that's not their kaiju's element. Uh, we go again. Um, oh, wait, I want to go to the match history real quick right after this. I had like a really fun win streak the other night. Um, honestly, I still usually prefer to go second with this deck, and I'm not going to lie. It's <laughs> probably what we're going to do because I, I really only have one option going first, and it's plan B. We got a Baguska pass. <laughs> 
We go to Baguska next turn. We attack with Baguska and we go into Zeus. We call that the Bazooska. Um. Okay, I don't hate this. Because if they have Ash, which, I mean, I, I mean, <laughs> they probably have Ash. Did they just pass? Okay. Weird. But fine. Okay, so now we have two baits for uh, Ash, which is good. I'm going to set this first, though. Uh, Fiendish Chain is really good because if you Fiendish Chain any of their monsters, their abilities get negated and they can't attack. Um, if you get one of their links or something with like 2,000 or less attack, you can definitely just double or nothing them the next turn and attack them for 10k for game. That works a lot of the time, <laughs> especially in the XE's festival. Um, do we bait out with the unexpected die or the Rota? Uh, Rota is more valuable because I can search for whatever I want. Unexpected die is just the one card. And then... Actually, hang on. What's the safest play? Because if I can pull... If I can get both of them off, then it doesn't really matter what order I do it in. If I if one of them gets ashed, I'd rather get reinforcement of the armors army so I can get the Celtic Guard of Noble Arms and special summon Celtic Guardian next turn or like Goblinburg or something. Um, Maxi, okay. Um, we'll just okay. Kill the Guardian, you! Hmm. In that case, we'll just try to bring out one monster. Uh. For now. Uh, because we could have rotated Goblinburg, Rescue Rabbit, two, and then bring out two XZ's monsters and sort of go for probably game if I could do. Uh, Blade Armor Ninja, and then. Because he can attack twice for 44. I guess I couldn't go for game, but. Uh. Oh, I could actually. Because I could detach a material for Blade Armor Ninja, go into Digusto Emerald for the next one, uh, attack for 44, 18, bring back a uh, probably Celtic Guardian, and then that'd be cool. What are the chances of that getting negated, actually? Not well, oh man. If they draw an Ash after I summon Goblinburg and then Rescue Rabbit, which is like a pretty high chance, so we probably just shouldn't go for it, we should just play it safe. Um, but I want to get this for next turn because they still haven't ashed me or had the chance to. Oh shit. Well, I guess they drew it. Well, now we know. Yeah, that'll do. Um. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. Well, if we're not worried about the ash anymore. Oh, I still can't get out more than a couple summons in that case. Um. I guess we just blade armor, Zeus, pass. Plus a fiendish chain. That's not terrible. I don't hate that. And I'll save rescue rabbit for next turn. Yeah. Sounds good to me. That's not a special summon too. So we're just, uh, we'll only give him two more cards. Hopefully one of them is not another Ash. <laughs> not another Ash. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, this just in case we want to digusto. Which is Disgusto. Is he limited in this game too? Or is that just TCG? I don't even know. Um, bop. Bop. And we do this. We do this. Bop. Oopsies. My bad. Misclick. And this. Sicko. Well, at least we baited out the Ash like I wanted to. I wish he had done it with the unexpected die, uh, but uh, that's fine, I guess. Um, I still like this Harpies in hand. Now he's at, what is that, seven cards? That's one more than he would have had. He kind of went plus one. Oh, Harpies of your own, sir. I guess we'll take that. I guess we take those. Unfortunate. Um... I guess I could have activated it on my own Zeus because I'm trying to activate trap cards with Photon or Galaxy Monster from your deck. Only one per turn. Okay. At least let the monster come out and see what happens. If he gets two, I think I should just pop it because I think Galaxy will go eight star or something like that and get out something crazy. 
Um, which is unfortunate because he probably has a little bit more gas in his hand. Um, ba, 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 ba. But we have another level four, and if I eat it, and then if I eat it with honor arc, I can just oh. What do you got? Once per turn, you can increase those by four. Yeah, he's gonna go to eight. He contributes card. At well, let's see what he does first. Because if he tributes that card, then that using Zeus would be terrible. <laughs> Level increase? Or, what do you got? It's connection problems, apparently. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's hand to deck? I thought you just special summon it. Okay, why can I not click on anything while he's having connection issues? Or is it my fault? <laughs> uh, but yeah, a lot of this deck, especially in the XE's Festival, is uh, XE's Monster with these special summon abilities with Rescue Rabbit, Goblinberg, the dual wielding Celtic Guardian, uh, Unexpected Die, getting out like a couple summons and just getting in like a couple staple rank fours. Uh, and the other version of the deck, I'll just go into that later. Uh, um, and I'll like put a timestamp on the video if there's Galaxy Soldier and True. Um, all right. Yo, he's just gonna make Cyber Dragon Infinity. <laughs> Um, but if he gets two level fives, I'm definitely going to try to kill him. <laughs> yep, add another galaxy. Can you just combine Photon and Cyber Dragon with a gal- like just by putting in three Galaxy Soldier <laughs> and then putting in inf Nova and Infinity in your extra deck? That kind of makes sense. <coughs> another Galaxy Soldier, true. I'm gonna let it get special summon first, and then I'll try to kill everything. Wow. Goodbye. Uh, we just, uh, hope we got him. Fuck! <laughs> that's the exact, when I saw he put Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon in the graveyard, that's the exact thing I was worried about him doing. Oh my god, that's so funny. Um, 500 attack for each material, so you won't get any, uh, boost from this. It's so funny, me and my friend were just watching, like, some of the Zexel stuff. <gasps> oh, no! Yeah, I thought he had, might have more gas, because I took the max C challenge. What else do we have? Uh, he's at 36, which I kind of don't like. Um, ooh, spider. Oh, that's only until the next standby. Uh, Castell, that would be good. Uh, Honor Arc would be good. Ooh, or we just double or nothing and just think he just doesn't have Ash. Um, he only drew one more card. He used one last turn. Um, what is this? Detach material, target one face monster, can't attack your opponent. Wait, what? Okay. Also, take control of that targeted monster until the end phase. Wow. It's attack defense 2000, it's time to become Galaxy. Okay, cool. Um, so it's level doesn't change, and it's still just ranked, and it'll just be in defense mode, I'm pretty sure. And I'm still at 8k, so we're okay. We're alright. It just says the end phase? Oh, what does that do? Ooh. Special summon another one. That's not good. This is, this is going bad. Just don't kill me. <laughs> please. One more turn, please. <laughs> Wait, why? Wait, why? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, I'm so dead. Uh, I don't know how this deck works. Okay. That card looks amazing, though. Uh, using... Okay, yeah, true. Wait, why? Oh, oh my god. He activated the ability of the other one to make uh, monsters you control cannot attack directly this turn, except... I guess, I don't know. Wait, why didn't that... Okay, now I'm kind of confused, but... We're just gonna roll with it. Okay. Now what do we do? <laughs> do I just try to double or nothing and pray that he doesn't have... I think that's the only option. That's the only way I can do anything. Um, I could Baguska all them to defense position and do something next turn. But, like, again, I don't I don't think that really helps. Oh, he has his own Zeus. Does that only have... Oh, it, it does have two materials. Okay. Uh, that's bad. Okay. True. Uh... <laughs> 
Oh wow, that is the worst thing we could have drawn because now we can't rescue Rabbit. Yo, amazing. Now we're just dead because we were gonna actually play. Um, oh, man, damn it. <laughs> I fucking had it, I could have just hit him. Come on, oh jeez, that's a little unfortunate. And now we die. That's okay. <laughs> Come on. That's okay. Uh, there's only nine of them in the deck. There weren't. There wasn't very high chance of me drawing it. So <laughs> like, hard to hard to complain. Like, doesn't happen too much. Uh, not my bunny. No. No. <laughs> now I'm dead. <laughs> uh, we are dead, Arena. Target destroy. Bop. Now that I think about it, I guess I could have normal summon rescue rabbit and then baited the um, Zeus. Um, because he would have to respond to it before I tribute my rescue rabbit. Um, and then he would have popped his own galaxy monsters and would have just had a 3,000 to attack with. I would have had 5,000 health and I could have top decked something, but. Probably nothing too fantabulous. Um, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I guess second. I mean, we go second. That's how this deck works. I'm not gonna lie. Um, going first isn't bad, uh, cause I can set Phoenix Chains and Baguska in defense mode and go into bigger things next turn, but I don't hate this. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you just... Why do people just keep passing? I mean, I know they're not self TKing that much anymore, but, like, what the fuck? Uh, so, five cards in hand, so we play around Ash. Uh, he might have Effect Veiler, which would be really funny, but... Let's just... If this gets negated, he'll just be at 21 anyway. Um... Bop! Got the Guardian, the Mind Eraser. He never sees this coming. <laughs> Uses effect, special summon another Celtic Guardian from your hand. Uh, this also works on himself, and then he can use his ability again. So you can chain this with all three of these if you have them uh, in your hand. Um, which makes it a lot of fun and can make you go plus way more than usual if you have more of these in your hand. Uh, since he's just wide open, I'm just going to do this because I don't think he has a way to negate it since he didn't have a response to Celtic Guard of Noble Arms. Um, and then I'll just go into Zeus next turn and we just, again, Prage, but... <laughs> um, oh, he does have a response. Oh, Infinite Impermanence? Uh, possibly? Which, like, you know, oh well. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the fuck, I'll still hit him and get Zeus. Uh, and then we can set Forbidden Chalice and Called By in main phase two and we have ash so i don't hate this hand we hit we do damage main two um actually i should keep one of these in my hand for summoner monk and i'd rather keep damn Which is better, Forbidden Chalice during my turn and call it, well, I mean, Forbidden Chalice for the combo piece on the field is really good for XC's formats, because a lot of the time the normal summon is what helps brings out the other piece for an XC summon, but a lot of time it'll be like, oh, Tribute itself, bring out another guy, and then use the Graveyard piece and bring that back. Uh, so Called By is really good for that, because then you banish the Graveyard piece that's being brought back. Um, Honestly, both would be, better, would be better to set, but Summoner Monk, I need a spell from my hand attribute to, to get out another level 4, and I'd rather keep a backup play in my hand. I'm gonna set... 
Forbidden Chalice, because Called By will also protect me during my turn against Ash Blossom. I mean, actually, no, it won't, because I'll be discarding it. <laughs> um, so that makes this... So that means I should set Called By now. Okay. Because Forbidden Chalice I could use on my turn if he still gets something out anyway. That's right. <laughs> Almost forgot. <laughs> Oh my god. 3,000. Then we pass. If he just passes, it might just be self TK, man, which is just like. That's fine, but. Oh man, virtual world! Oh shit, boy. Um, uh, I play this in ranked. This is the deck I play in ranked. Usually, in my experience, the only thing that really helps negating is. Oh, he just scooped. Wait, what happened? <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> what happened? I wanted to see what you got. How do you, how do you scoop with how do you brick with virtual world? That is literally impossible. Like, I have gotten some of the worst hands. I've even just set called by pass, and then the next turn I still, like, come back. <laughs> like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> it's not what we were looking for, but, um, real quick. I went on, like, a huge win streak the other day, which was fucking really fun, and then a loss streak. But, hey, um, it's the way it goes. Uh, so the rewards list gets really crappy as time goes on, I'm pretty sure, because we're already at 42. Um, but... I think I need... Let me check which missions I need for this. Um, damn it. I didn't even get one of them. Um, trap card. Oh, Jesus. Destroy a card. How have I not done that? Um, is this by card effect specifically or by battle? Like, how do we know? <laughs> like, um, just destroy. Okay. Oh wait, this is in solo mode. No, in exhibition. Okay, I was like, why does it say campaign? Um, okay. So I need to activate Fiendish Chain more, <laughs> I guess. Uh, I'll probably just off camera do like a trap version of this deck with like Fiendish, Crackdown, and some other shit. Um, I don't think I have Crackdown in this game actually now that I think about it. <laughs> I wonder if that's an ultra. Uh, oh god. We go second. Just trust. Just trust. <laughs> um, I think even in real life, this is going second deck. Like, you can honestly, since, okay, this is a Celtic Guardian deck, so there's no archetype, so you need as many combo pieces and extenders as you can get. So getting that extra card really does help a lot. <laughs> okay, this is a self-TK deck. Um, <laughs> so we're just going to let him pop off, uh, even if we pull, like, Ash or what else do I play in this? called by all right respectable do i okay a lot of time with self tk decks i just like to see if i can kill them faster than they can kill themselves um what do you do wow that's unfortunate wow you're really okay never mind this is efficient i think he might be able to do it with the two face downs if he can then i'll be surprised stand by stand by dead Come on! Okay, true. Uh, in that case, let's just try to have fun with it. Um, let's just double or nothing the, g <laughs> the guy. Um, yeah, you're not ki not in my watch, boy. Not on my watch. You're living. I'm saving you. Don't worry about it. Skill drain. <laughs> that doesn't work on mining store. <laughs> oh, do you? You have to pay life points to activate skill drain. All right. What do you got? Uh, opponent's monster player attack, toss coin three times. Wow. Huh. No, that's cool. Yeah, I know you were trying to kill yourself. Not today. Not today, boy! <laughs> I'm showing off these moves. Wait, if this face-up card on the field is destroyed. Oh, shit, he's just dead. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> uh, okay, fair enough. Oh, that trap version probably helps get that trap achievement as well. That's probably a good idea. Um, I have to cop that deckless boy. I mean, I'll take the medals, but... Uh, 20 gems, oh boy. We go again. 
I think this event is like so much fun. Even the duels I lose, like I get to see decks I've literally never seen before, like that Weather Painter deck, which is a new archetype, and like I have some cards for it, and my friend probably does too, because, you know, pull from similar boxes and shit. Um, yeah, this event's been really fun. Burner, burner, burner. All right, two ways for combo, and we got Ash. Um, what do you got, sir? Cyber Dragon. Okay. Getting out a spell or trap. We'll probably search for a Cyber Dragon monster. If this is the XE's event, though, you can't get out any of the fusions, so you're probably gonna like machine dupe or something on my ass. Is what I think. Uh, in which case, I would just want to ash that. Um, cause the cyber spells you can pull, the cyber dark stuff isn't, like, really in here. Um. Cause you can't fuse, it's the XC's festival, right? Like, <laughs> um. So I don't think I care as much about this, like. If you're gonna machine dupe and summon from the deck, yeah, I'll stop that, but, like. Cause then you'll just get out infinity and I might be hosed. Cyber repair, okay. That's what I that's what I fucking thought. Let's go. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, if I can just double or nothing, you're just pass. <laughs> just damn. Yo, called by Damn it. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> he knows. Um, okay, so I just have to chain I just have to do my Celtic Guardians, you and then chain my Forbidden Chalice to his uh, Infinity, and then I still might be able to do this. Come on, come on. Yeah, because if you can't fuse, a lot of the Cyber Dragon Extenders like Overload Fusion or Cyber Repair Plan, or I guess I don't know if you use that already, but like a lot of that it just doesn't help that much. You can get out like Naxter and then maybe bring out another Cyber Dragon, like, but not like regular Cyber Dragon, like. Do you, you have infinity, right? Like, <laughs> hello? <laughs> Come on, what are you doing? You know what to do. Come on, make the guy. You know what to do. Oh, okay. You're gonna special summon a uh, Cyber Dragon? Oh, it changes attack. It's turn one, bro. Oh, he did that so I couldn't, like, double or nothing is, uh, core. You know what would be ironic if I ate his Cyber Dragon? I feel like I should go for that, just because it would be funny. Yeah, let's do that. The quick effect, when a card or effect is activated, you can detach one material and negate the activation if you do destroy it. Yeah, he's definitely going to use that on my combo piece, which is going to be this, and then I'll chain Forbidden Chalice, negate his effect, eat him, attack, go into Zeus. Uh... Do I eat him for the irony, or do I go for big damage with double or nothing? I usually never do double or nothing unless it's game. Because, like, at that point, you might as well save it in the pocket in case he summons a huge-ass monster, but it's enough to kill him. Um, if I just eat him, I'll just do 21 and then go into Zeus. But honestly, I think that might be enough against this deck, because he only has three cards left in hand. I know one is Cyber Repair Plant, though, because he searched it. And that'll get him as Cyber Dragon or something? Um, which will have 21... But I'll have Zeus out at that point. Alright, we're just gonna go for it. Activate effect. Do it. Do it. Do it. Got the Guardians, you. Yes, come on. You absolute fool. Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> it resolves. No ability for you. Um. Thank you. Got the guardian, you. <laughs> you never saw this coming, son. Um, I definitely want to eat it, right? Not send it back to the deck. Yeah, yeah, we definitely want to eat it. Um, 
special summon attack position. Just have to check, just have to check some of the conditions on these really specific level rank 4 XC staples that I just happened to pull are really specific. Go figure. Oh, two, that's right. Um, bop. Yo, infinity gets swiped. Never happened, never heard of. Hit him. Bop. Bring out the big guy. I wish I had Downard Magician, but it's just an ultra rare and I just haven't crafted it yet. It's kind of dumb that I didn't craft it just for this event. Because there's other XCs I'm just not using. Um, um, some of them are good for if I have Earth Barrier out and then I can do like some control with that. If I can just normal summon Earth Barrier next turn, I think I just win the duel. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, if he can't do anything after I Zeus him uh, and then I normal summon Earth Barrier, then I think the duel is just over. Because <laughs> every Cyber Dragon card is light. Yo, no way! That's tragic. I should have thought of that. I have that in my deck, too. Um, yeah, I really should have thought of that. That's okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Light Machine Monster. Yeah. Uh, I really couldn't have uh, stopped that though. I, don't think. I mean, I knew I had it. He had it in his hand, but um, none of these guys like stops me from getting tributed or something like that. My question now is though, can he? Does he have enough in his hand to bring out, you know, something else? Because if not, I again, I can just normal summon Earth Barrier, and we're just fine. <laughs> Kind of a good thing about this deck. Yeah, I think we might just be okay. Here we go. I love it. We'll take it. And, uh, you know? Yeah, we, we're gonna just take it. Thanks for the Kai. Thanks for the 3300 Kaiju! <laughs> Setting Ash. That's sad. That's That hurts. I mean, I've done that. I do that. <laughs> I do that all the time with this deck. Well, not all the time, but I don't want to hate. I don't want to hate on him. I wonder if he's read the read read this yet. <laughs> no. Yo, he he figured it out, guys. He just has some Utopia support built in. True. Is he gonna be mad if I just summon the other one? <laughs> I mean, I could just go for a game, but it would be a lot funnier if I just summon the other one. <laughs> do I have enough Celtic Guardians in my deck? I do. Okay. Do I go for this and maybe get Ashed, or do I guarantee 44 and he can't do anything next turn? This is way funnier. I'm sorry. This is so much funnier to me. <laughs> Bamboozled. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> End phase. Let's go. Attack with Earth Barrier Statue for game. Unless. Oh, wait. We got to do it. We got to hit it. Wait, wait. No, wait. Can we not do it? You can't special summon except Earth. But we should be able to. I'm curious. Yes, I, I should be able to use this. The only normal monster I have is Earth, so it should work. Ah, oh, okay, lame. I was going to attack with Celtic Guardian for game, but all right, fair enough. All right, Earth Barrier for game it is. <laughs> you've chosen your poison. You've done, you've picked this battle. We got him. <laughs> Sick. Nice. Isn't this like fine? Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Alright. Got some legacy pack tickets. Uh gonna do one more, then I'll take a quick break and then I'll just keep going after that. Well, we go second. I'm not gonna lie, we go second. Honestly, I do have a lot of luck when I go first, too, but... Baguska's just really powerful. 
And when I go second, I end up just not using it throughout the duel because it's just like more of a defensive play. Um, and there's very few things in this deck where it's like, oh, if I get one more card, I'm fine. I, it's kind of like a lot of two card combos just because the way this works. Beast Warriors, the zoos. Um, uh, oh my god, Yosenju. Actually, mad respect, bro. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh, that's actually just really convenient. I just like that a lot. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna activate this, and I'm just gonna go for... Do we think he has Ash? He has three cards in hand. Do we go Rescue, or do we go Goblin? I feel like we go Goblin just because it's safer. Like, there's no way... There's no way. Nobody's playing Effect Veiler right now. Nobody's crafting Effect Veiler as an Ultra Rare when you could craft Ash. Um, so we're going to save uh, our bunny friend uh, until we are out of other stuff. <laughs> or until we know what's in his hand. For direct damage, I like this guy. I did play Pro Champion Excalibur to boost him to 4,000. But that uses two materials and then I can't make Zeus after that. And this is the exact same condition. So... Uh, two warrior monsters to special summon, I mean. Uh, same cost to summon. And we hit. Wow. No, we can't boost his, uh, we can't boost his damage, because then he won't be able to attack twice, and then that's just lame. <laughs> um, let's set one of these Forbidden Chalice. Uh, because he, oh, jeez, that was close. I did that, I think, yesterday in, like, a duel against my friend. I was in the battle phase, and... Just got two rambunctious. Uh, set that, activated that forbidden challenge after attacking. What the? Burm, burm, burm. Had to hit him with the Celtic Guardian. Raigeki, son of a bastard. Okay. Um. Hmm. I can't believe this is at 3 in TCG, honestly. Um, I guess we take that. Did he top deck that? <laughs> I mean, if he had a turn 1, he probably would have just saved it anyway, so. Can immediately normal summon 1. Yusenji from your hand. The thing is, I don't think... Yeah, okay. Nah. I, and he goes back to his hand, I think, at the end of the turn. So I don't want to negate his effect. Turn it to the hand. Because I just want to attack, like, directly. I mean, I do I have anything that does 36? <laughs> now that I think about it. Because uh, if I can just keep that out and then Utopia double him next turn, that might just be better. I'm not really playing around Ash if I, <laughs> if I do that, though. Um, and I don't think I've done anything to search yet. Yeah. Oh, I could just hit him with... Does this have, a, have to battle a monster? Yeah. And I can't go into Zeus either. I think I'd rather Forbidden Chalice this, and then... I'll do it during the end phase, though. So he doesn't just gain attack while he's hitting me. <laughs> yes, okay. If he's ending his turn, then I definitely feel safe just doing this and, like... We just go for it. Because if he ashes the rescue rabbit, then it just doesn't matter anyway. Bam. Hit him with it. Oh, I'll fucking take that. I'll actually use that to bait out the ash. Because he has to respond to that. Like, there's no way he doesn't ash this if he has it. And we can just look if it gives him... Oh, it didn't even give him priority. So we just know it's fine. Uh, let's get Goblinberg and just save it for next turn. Because um, I want to definitely use rescue rabbit now. Um... That way, any level 4 we get, we have more plays. Boom! Boom. Now we hit him with the Brain Eraser. Got the Guardians, you! <laughs> Fucking hit him with it. Yeah, let's just hit him really hard. We know he doesn't have uh, Ash or anything, so... 
And he can't use... If he would have infinite impermanence, he has a face-up card. Which would make sense to play in a Yosenju deck, actually. Like, because your cards go to back to your hand at the end of the turn. At least all of your normal summons and stuff. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, yeah, we're just good. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, uh, okay. That was pretty fun. That was really good. Uh... <laughs> Uh, yo, Senji's though, mad respect, bro. Um, I'm gonna put this deck up and I'll be right back. Um, give me one sec. Check one thing and then we'll be back at it, boys. Actually, I can just start now. Fuck that. Um, <laughs> do we. How are we doing on the missions? Um, oh, we got another one. Hopefully. Um, damn it. That's still the same unlimited mission. Okay. Um, I'll do the traps later. Okay, we're almost done to the destroy. When I do that, I'll go back to ranked and. Try to play this a little bit there. I'll show off the link plays I've come up with. Um, damn, I've already been going for an hour. It doesn't feel that long. Game just or time just flies when you're playing this game. Um, but yeah, uh, we go again. Let's fucking do it. Got the guardians, you. I was just now an hour in checking if the audio was fine. Because, you know, I'm a professional. <laughs> okay. I don't hate this hand. We can bait out Ash with reinforcement. And I guess... Oh, actually, this hand kind of is unfortunate because we have to waste Goblinburg on Goblinburg if he does Ash us. And uh, drawing double or nothing is pretty bad. Um, which I guess is why we play Summoner Monk because some spells are just dead at certain points. <laughs> Actually, I think Double or Nothing is the only one that's really like a brick. Um, okay, cool. Ash Blossom is gone. Um, now we know. I guess that didn't really help us during this play, but it would have helped us set up for next play. And... This is turn one, isn't it? Oh, we're going first. Oh, man. <laughs> we gotta show off plan B. Oh, shit. Infinite Impermanence? Oh, Max C. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm just summoning like one more, two more things. Oh, wait, I could just Ash his Max C. And then he has three cards. I, on three cards under Baguska? Actually, you know what? I kind of like this situation. I kind of like how this is playing out. Take a little drink here. Thank ya. We'll take it. No cards for you, sir. Boop. Bop. Bop. Bit bop. There we go. Hell yeah. Bring out big elephant.
Oh shit, boy. Is that a set pass skill drain I see? There's 15 extra decks, so maybe not, but... Ooh! Do I even... Um, I'm gonna, just gonna save the rabbit. Because uh, if I just attack and go into Zeus, then anything I special summon is just kind of dumb. Well, actually... I could special summon a Tornado Dragon and then uh, discard a material and destroy the face down. Um, the thing is, like... Magusco, when it's in attack position, when it's def in defense position, it changes out everything to defense and negates its abilities. When it's in attack, it can't be targeted and it can't be destroyed. Um, it's safer to just attack and then go into Zeus. Um, it would be way more aggressive to use all my materials in my hand and without knowing what the face down is. Because if it's skill drain, then Rescue Rebel will just be sitting there and I could just get rid of it with Zeus. In main phase two, yeah. If I'm just, I'm just gonna assume it's skill drain. <laughs> um, oh, it was just nothing. Okay, well, now we know. Um, and we can just destroy it during the end phase of the next turn and just go for game. So, all right, I'm liking this. Oh, true. Now we go for game. This is me also being aggressive, because honestly, I don't need to respond to two face downs, but... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Limit <laughs> removal? Faced? Yo, true. Okay, <laughs> oh, we're just gonna... <coughs> um... Now we hit him with our brain eraser! <laughs> Kill the guardians! Um, is this just enough for game? No, it's not. Okay, it's barely not enough. We have 5,800 on board. So we're going to... We're just gonna Blade Armor Ninja, because we can't um, go into Zeus with him later, so... this he's, he's best to get out when your opponent has nothing on the board, which happens a fair amount in this deck. Um... Just because, uh, just because of Zeus comes out a lot, and sometimes if you're able to negate some of their abilities with Ash or I, I used to play Ash and Imperm in this deck. I play different things in the balance now because I feel like the TCG meta changed, but I've I've been playing in that meta for so long that I just play that in this version too. I feel like I'm not 100% sure which hand traps are best for Master Duel specifically for this event. I feel like infinite impermanence and effect veil would be huge because XEs are all about like, oh, my normal summon gets out the rest of my board. Like, that's like hella XEs decks. Also, we fucking got him. Let's go. <laughs> um, but yeah, hand trap theory. There could be a whole study. <laughs> um, we already had 6,000. Um, did we destroy enough cards? Um, because if so, maybe show this in ranked, which we might lose a couple more times, but that's okay. Uh, we did not get the thing. Um, because I think we just destroyed his face downs. Oh, it also didn't work. Okay, cool. Uh, maybe it's by battle then? We'll find out. I have no idea what that guy was playing. <laughs> like, monster, or like, machine, duplicate, or... Er Probably infinity plus limiter removal, some kind of weird engine of that. Cyber Dragon player. Oh man, I like his field setup. It's the one I use for the summon skull. I have Ash, thank god. Okay, so I can Ash the Machine Dupe. Okay, good. <laughs> when I saw the Cyber Dragon Infinity thing, and then I saw... Um, and then I saw the... Um, that he chose to go first, I was like, this is probably definitely a Cyber Dragon Infinity player. Um, which, In which case, yeah, the card I'm giving him is not good, but 
what's worse is letting me machine letting him machine dupe, which is a billion times worse. Jeez, he is really milling. Oh man, oh, this is. He has to have nothing if he's doing both of these. Like, what the fuck? Ugh. Ashing the pot is so funny. Draw two. He needs to draw two. You have four cards. Why do you need to draw two? Ugh, get out of here. Never. Not. 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 No. I mean, I should have just. We'll see. Called by? Didn't matter. He at least has something. <laughs> Yo, wait, no fucking way. How is he using this many cards in his hand for drawing and hand traps? Is this just a self TK? I've not faced one today yet. <laughs> Alright. Okay, you really need those cards. Uh, but that means he had that anyway, ready to go, so I don't feel too bad about using it early. Bam, bam, bam. Zodiac, okay. I haven't dueled this in a little bit. Last time I fought it, I actually grinded it out and won, but we shall see. He do be drawn, though. I think we just let him do his thing. So I right, got something I need to refill real quick while this is going on. So I think he just special summons like three or four Zodiacs on top of one another and then uh, goes into Zeus probably if it's turn one. Um, but up, but up, but up, but up, but up. How can we? How can we? How, what do we do about that? Uh, Zodiacs are also Earth, uh, so Earth Barrier Statue does nothing. Um. <laughs> I just want to get him to pop the effect and then Fiendish Chain him, I think is the best way to go about it. Uh, do I just not summon anything until that happens? Like, honestly. He still has, like, four cards in hand, though, so he's still gonna get out more next turn. Um, hum, 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 uh. I can't activate it during my turn, though, so anything I summon during this turn will get zeus Might as well just set the Fiendish Chain. Oh, he'll just pop it during my end phase. So maybe I summon something during my turn. Bait the Zeus during my turn so I can set my Fiendish Chain. That way, next turn, I can activate it. Uh, in response to him activating his effect. Yes, that'll work. And then I get rid of that four material Zeus, um, at least in order to like deal with it or something, but uh, somehow. So yeah, I guess we'll just do that. Wait, what? Wait, what? Excuse? Once per turn, quick effect, detach one material from this card, target one face-up card on the field, destroy it. So that's a once per turn? Okay, um... Hmm. Oh my god, wait, why? <laughs> why would you not make Zeus? Um... Gains a second event, blah blah blah. This card can attack directly. Uh, it gains a oh, piercing. You just have a once per turn pop. Is that what we're going with? I mean, I've always thought Zodiac was cool enough to just do its own thing. Like I've always thought it was. It got like kind of ruined by the fact that it just turboed out Zeus as fast as possible. 
um, not like ruined, it made it amazing, but like it made it like that's what everybody does and that's all you do. Um, if I can bait out the pop, then we might be fine. So let's bait it out with this. It's just monsters, right? One face up card. Ah. What does this do? NXE's monster has this effect, but this does not have the effect. Okay. That's that, that's a face down. Um, we go for it, we, we try. Ash? If we get Ash, then actually we can't go for it. I don't think. Oh, we can. Count the Guardians, Yug, you never saw this coming. He's now he's like, well, why would you destroy this? It's just a Celtic Guardian. Like, why why would you why would you even bother? <laughs> exactly. Why would you even bother? Okay, so now we Goblinberg with a monster. If we can get another one in hand, and we definitely get an Xyz out, and then we just fucking double or nothing. Um, if he ashes us here, oh my God, he's not ashing us. What are you doing, bro? Um, what's in my hand? Do I bring out this guy and attack? No, he won't be able to attack. Um. Who are we trying to bring out? Uh, who do we not want to top deck? Uh, we want to leave these in the deck in case we get Rescue Rabbit. This is not the best to top deck. These are both combo pieces uh, if we draw anything else. <sighs> Boop. Celtic Guardians. See, he's like not worried. He's like, who, who even cares? They're just Celtic Guardians. Who even? Who even <laughs> what's the worst that could happen? See, even if he destroys one of these, this effect still goes off because it's a win condition. Or when, like W H H E N. Oh my God! Effect Valor. True. Now he has the once per turn pop against these guys. Okay. Interesting. Now we have to think um, a little bit. If he chains it now, we can't summon anything. Damn, I should have pulled one of the. I should have just pulled another Goblinberg, honestly. Um. Oh, he can't. Why wouldn't he chain his pop to that? Because now I can bring out this guy. Ooh, or Bugusko. No. Well, Bugusko can't be targeted, so I could destroy his guy, or I could eat it. Oh, no. He would try to pop this. This is target, right? Yeah, target. So we just Baguska and hit him, and then we go Zeus. Bazuska. Ah, oh, man, I really wanted to double or nothing his ass. Um. Yep. Oh man, that would have been so funny. But if we get out Zeus and pop his board, and then normal summon Earth Barrier. Again, I think that's just GG. <laughs> Why is there... Oh, right. He already used Effect Veiler this turn, right? Yeah. He can't use Infinite Impermanence from his hand. Maybe that's the set card. I haven't really thought about the set card too much this turn, but I figured can't be targeted, can't be destroyed. Set card's not super bad. I just kill pop his Dryden, and then... Uh... He probably has a play next turn. He only has two cards, but he probably has some... That he can normal summon. summon. <laughs> Let's go, boy. Come on, Zodiacs. Aren't you the best XZ's deck ever? What are you doing? This is just Celtic Guardians. How could you have a problem with this? Yeah? Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, really, bro? <laughs> Are you gonna pop your own monster? Oh, target one face-up card on the field. Okay. Why? <laughs> no, he didn't know. <laughs> he didn't know. He didn't read. Okay. Goodbye. I influence. <laughs> I choose to influence this card. Please activate a trap that like destroys something or like targets something. Like please, please. Wait, what is this? Quick effect. Discard battles after damage calculation. Banish that opponent's monster. No. 
Wait, I needed that. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Damn it. Oh, I didn't know about that card. Whip tail? Yeah, I definitely didn't know about that card. <laughs> okay. Uh, so they have kind of a honest ability with that. That hurt. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. That hurt real bad. Um, nah, I have to wait for him to use the pop and then chain to that. Then I can negate his abilities and I think he might just go down to zero attack and then if we get a combo piece, <laughs> that'd be great. <laughs> This will let him search for another one, but like, I can't waste this negate if I want to play next turn. Like, this is just another search, but. <laughs> Yo, true. He's not killing me, I still can't activate it either. I mean, geez, yeah. If you're able to mill like 30 cards, I feel like that is not paid. Another whip tail? Right. Fine by me. Activate your pop, bro. You know you want to. Well, it only works on face-up cards, so I guess he has to use it when I'm making my move next turn. Um, come on, rescue rabbit, save me, bunny. Holy shit! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, so he has to respond to this. I'm going to Fiendish Chain. Hopefully this works. I, we're, we just pray um, that he doesn't have Ash <laughs> after I do this. Because now he has to pop this. Targeting Rescue. I have to Fiendish Chain. Negate his abilities. Now he doesn't gain any attack for any of the Zodiacs he has equipped. Unless his face down will save his life. Holy shit, it resolved. Yes, let's go! Now he's at 100 attack. We hit him with the braid eraser. Come on. Oh my god, wait. Does he have Ash? No! Shit. Oh, we almost had him, boys. We, we almost fucking had him. Okay. Fuck. Damn it. That was gonna be so good. Oh, uh, if I could have just Utopia doubled with the Celtic Guardians, that would have been like the best like 10 second clip that I could have put up. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we pass. <laughs> like literally we pass. Oh man. That's okay. He had one card in him, and it was Ash. That's okay. I think that's the second one that he's used this duel too. Yep. Cool, bro. Uh, to be fair, he's milled like 30 cards out of his deck and I'm playing like a card that, uh, I still have 30 cards. Like, <laughs> Bro, that was so fucking close. Damn, bro. GG. Oh, goddamn. Literally so close.
I mean, some may argue it was not close, but I feel like it was really close. <laughs> oh my god, okay. How are we doing? Have we gotten what we need? No, are you shitting me? Did we destroy any cards actually now I think about it? We did not, okay, fair enough. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> I said I'd do it until we fucking got that thing. Um, and I'm like not sick of doing this at all, so like. <laughs> um, <clears throat> does it have to be by battle? Like. Can I Google it real quick or will I get disconnected? Um. check some other time <clears throat> okay you'll never see this double ash coming <laughs> it's fine yo he's the first player <laughs> the first registered player ID 001 Fair. Understandable. True. <laughs> Set three. Set three and set pass. <coughs> unexpected. Not gonna lie, very unexpected. Also, three hand traps, not ideal. No, yeah, very not ideal. We can't do anything. <laughs> um... Honestly, I just want to set one of those so I don't die. <laughs> I wonder if he also set Ash Blossom. That would actually be pretty funny. My guess for what he has set. One is a skill drain. One's an infinite impermanence. Uh, oh, okay. Send the top three cards of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. I kind of like that. Um, well, actually, that won't be ideal for, like, Rescue Rabbit or something, but, um... That's like the only thing that really breaks, I think, um, specifically, by losing cards. So I think at this point we even attack with Baguska because I like I can get out a Tornado Dragon and destroy like one of these cards, and then attack slightly more safely. But I could just get out something that can't be destroyed at all, which I think is safer and can be targeted. Okay, so now we can kind of do something, um, and I'd rather save the monster reborn in my hand, so we're gonna Goblinburg, Summoner, attack with Baguska, Zeus, and then do it during his end phase, uh, we just do it to him, uh, hopefully this works out, but let's go! Cool. Ooh, we lost a Celtic Guardian, no, and a Lightning Storm. That actually hurts in this duel. Um, honestly, losing the Celtic Guardians hurts too, because I realized it breaks um, more than one card. It breaks uh, Rescue Rabbit and Unexpected Die. Well, Unexpected Die isn't broken yet, but... Um, okay, now Rescue Rabbit is broken, and we lost our Forbidden Chalices. Um, but we'll draw more combo pieces, I guess. Um... Oh, I probably could have summoned into... Oh, wait, no, that doesn't matter. Um, 
What is that? Oh. Uh, yeah, we battle. We hit the first thing because we assume he bricked. If he said all this and just didn't. Like, he hasn't. He has zero extra deck, actually. He might just be like. I actually have no idea what this is. He might just be deck out. Like. Waboku. Well, you wouldn't have taken battle damage. And I don't really need to destroy your monster. Ooh, Man Eater Bug. Man Eater Bug. Calling it right now. Classic Yu Gi Oh deck. Morphing Jar. Okay, true. Oh, I wanted that monster reborn. Ooh, this is actually sick. Thank you. This is actually awesome. Main two. Actually, this is kind of fun. <laughs> this reminds me of like really, really old school Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I kind of like this. Um, nostalgic. I'm losing so many cards. Oh no, not my Celtic Guardians, you. Uh, he's looking at my d graveyard like, what the fuck is this? Like, <laughs> uh, what is this guy playing? Um, oh, can I not set any cards? Why not? Oh, it's his, uh, he has priority right now. Oh, face down defense for my Zeus? No. Uh. Damn, Book of Moon. Classic. We take it. We take those. Discards entire hand, draws five cards. Ba -ba -da -ba. Actually, I'm just gonna use this. I might as well. I'm like, I'm not losing anything. I'm setting the same two cards. Like, it's about to get flipped down at the resolution of this chain, so like, I have to do it now. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose the materials anyway. Um, and I think Book of Moon will still work, and so will that card. Um, yeah, that's fine. We're gonna set another Phoenix Chain. Luckily we drew another one. Uh, and we're going to Rhoda into Goblinburg, I guess, just in case we wanna summon other stuff. Like, I don't know. <coughs> Bait out an Ash, I guess. I guess I should've saved that for the start of my next turn in case I, oh, okay, it was fine. Um, Okay, yeah, I have more. I have too many monsters for the... Because the other Celtic Guardian with two swords can't attack if you have more than... Like, if you have cards in your hand. Uh, when he attacks, though, you draw cards equal to the number of Celtic Guardian cards you have on the field, uh, which is nice. But, um... And he has 2,100 attacks. So, like, if I just draw him and normal summon him as, like, I don't have that many cards left and that's all I got, like, I can still just hit him. Um, so now we pass, which is Zeus, uh, and he has five cards, probably another morphing jar and some traps and stuff. It's just, can I kill him before he decks me out? Um, actually he like almost did last turn. He might be able to like deck me out by the end of next turn because he has to set a bunch of cards and morphing jar to do it. So, um, I think we just try to do go for big damage like we flip Zeus we do blade armor ninja hopefully and then big damage Oh man True Have we used all our or have we gone through all of our lightning storm? No, and we have not seen harpies either and we have 16 cards left So we actually have a really good chance of getting rid of that. Oh, okay. Level four or higher. Okay. What do we think the back row is? Do we play around the back row? I'm not a level four or lower normal monsters, I think. Yeah. Unexpected die is dead, so we could set it. Like, there's nothing. Oh, wait, no, we'll keep it for. Unless we're out of that, too. One. One. We are not out of summoner monk, so we will keep this in our hand. Do we have another double or nothing in the deck? We do. Wow. Okay. We still have most of our plays available to us. Uh, how much do we respect that back row? Because we're not gonna gonna get a lot of chance to do damage. I feel like. 
Um, so I feel like I want to put him in killing range next turn, and then we'll draw maybe Lightning Storm or Harpies or Summoner Monk, and then we just try to get rid of level limit area B and go for game if we were able to attack this turn. Because uh, Tornado Dragon's fine, it's just like it, I, I will do like barely any damage and he has four cards left. Uh, and I feel like Blade Armor will be more useful even if he has Morphing Jar next turn I could hit him twice and still probably kill him for game. Um, I'm just going to go with my gut and try to hit him really hard. Max C, true. Oh man, I wish I had set that call by... I mean... <clears throat> he discarded my hand before I could, but um... <laughs> Yep, Maxi. This will save the Earth Barrier for if I can flip up the fucking Zeus. If I pull like Harpies or Lightning Storm or something. Because uh, that's what we're hoping for if, if this goes poorly. Uh, yeah, I don't think it'll even help against this guy's deck anyways. I think it's just Morphing Jar shenanigans. Infinite Impermanence. Effect really. Oh, T Roar. Damn. Okay, fair enough. Actually, that's like one of the least bad, like one of the. I, like, that's not a terrible trap for that to be. I mean, as long as we don't lose all of our cards next turn, which we might, but hey. Say Levy. Um. Oh man, Morphing Jar, bro. Fun times. Classic. Two, three, four, five, six. It's another jar. Maybe another T Roar. Take it. Um. Ooh, he gets two cards. I kind of like this event because a lot of people can play just whatever they want, really. <laughs> and it's like, I'm sure this guy's just doing fine. Like, Good. <laughs> True. Okay. Um. I feel like I just normal summon this guy. Um. Um, yeah, and then we just attack, um... This guy still can't attack, so I have cards in my hand, but... This guy will go to defense mode. Four back row. I, I could actually like special summon like a few monsters with this next turn so let's like just save that maybe normal summon the um I don't know the earth barrier statue for now 
Oh, right. True. Guess I should have normal summoned first. Um. Ah, uh, yeah. I probably should have definitely gotten out the Celtic Guardian then if he's getting rid of my hand. I just keep forgetting that's what's happening. Um. Yeah, definitely get out this guy. Um. In that case, if he's just gonna keep getting rid of my hand. Oh shit. Right. One monster of each type. I think these are both warriors. <laughs> um. Hmm. I guess this guy, since I can attack for right now. Um. Now we we battle. This is another morphing jar. Uh, we have nine cards left. So we have like one more turn. <laughs> the ultimate grind game. Oh shit. True. Um, luckily it's kind of getting rid of cards that I have not been using. If there's a single card that would help, it would be a Harpies, and we still haven't seen it, so that would be sick if we could fucking draw it. That'd be awesome. That'd be really funny. If after all he did, I still draw Harpies. <laughs> oh my god! I forgot this was Zeus. I can just flip him face up. He's not a level 4. He's a rank 4. I can still attack with him. Why am I dumb? Um... Why am I like this? Bam, bam, bam. I just like when he got flipped face down, I just stopped thinking about him as an XZ monster. And he lost all of his materials, so I was like, oh, he's basically a normal monster now. Yeah, fuck this guy. Like, <laughs> like shit, when that Celtic Guardian got destroyed, I could have attached a material because of Zeus's ability. Um, which a lot of people forget about. Um, but I could have attached it to. Oh my god, let's fucking go. I'm just gonna activate this like right off the cuff. Yeah, because I don't want him discarding this for the life of me. And we're not gonna put it in an imperm column. Um Come on. T Roar! Aw, oh, you're such a bitch. Um What the fuck, bro? Book of Eclipse! I'm about to be out of cards. Um I can just negate Book of Eclipse. Because why not? Might as well. No battle phase though. That fucking sucks. Okay. Which helps more? Do I even have spells left? Probably? I think yeah. Um, Rescue Rabbit definitely won't help. Um, I feel like I just get this out just cause, or do I get this out just cause, no yeah, cause I can't even, um, whatchamacallit, I can't even attack. Since he has a bunch of stuff that flips me face down, I'm just gonna leave him in defense. I could have had 300 or 3k more damage, so he'd be at 28. So I guess that'd be a better position, but that's still not game. So like, I'm still not like pressed that I didn't attack with Zeus that one time. <sighs> yeah, nah, bro. I can't take it. I'm, I, I'm almost out of cards, man. I can't take it. Come on, pass. Please just pass. Yeah, if he gets rid of five more cards, I'm so fucked. He go to defense mode. 
Oh man. <coughs> okay, I can like tornado dragon that. <coughs> so I think we're okay. Oh my god, or I can just lightning storm. No wait, I can't. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Alright. Okay, we flip. We summon. We tornado. The messenger of peace, so we can attack. Okay. Flip. And then I think this is just game. <laughs> Tornado Dragon, you save the day. You get the final blow. Let's go! Kill the Gaddy! <laughs> Honestly, grind game is usually pretty tough with this deck, but that actually went fine. We just drew good cards and he milled bad, like he milled cards that aren't extenders or combo pieces like that was just convenient like he just kind of helped us um keep drawing the correct cards um let's go uh um pretty nice pretty nice pretty nice um what do we got what do we got come on oh my god did we do it holy shit Let's go! We fucking did it! Alright, bet. Now we can, uh, switch to ranked. I still have to do this, but I'll just make, like, a trap. Some kind of weird trap deck. Um, how many traps do we have to do, actually? Because I might just be able to... Ooh, is that just 30? Because I could do that in, like, two duels. Give me, like, one second. Let me just check. Because I'm going to try ranked out a little bit. But I'm in platinum, and the <laughs> Celtic Guardian deck does better in gold than platinum. Um, specifically because a lot of more people play things that will negate my like normal summon and it is like a lot of time if I get like rescue rabbit or goblin bird negated that's pretty bad um, wait hang on do I still make this floatable or do I just like like insta lose but activate five trap cards per turn Do we just self TK with trap cards or? Um. Let's see what traps I have. Uh. Uh. <sighs> okay. Um. Um, unfortunately a lot of these traps are gonna be like stuff that just stalls shit out because I haven't crafted anything specifically for the event like doing burn damage to myself or my opponent or anything uh, oh shit oh wait no it's not a rainbow um, damn I have a lot of trap cards what the fuck yo what the hell how do I have so many okay forget this um, I'll just figure that out later um, maybe I'll make like a 10 minute Here's 10 trap cards you can use in a single turn. Um, Xyz. We're kind of done with Xyz. I have not done my dailies in days. <laughs> um, which I just have like the 20 and 30 ones. But we're going to do some ranked mode. Since we got that thing in the XZ's mode. And we're going to switch. We're not playing Virtual World. Nope. Uh, maybe for another video. This is Obnoxious Celtic Guardian with links. <laughs> with five links specifically. Uh, Link Spider, you climb in after uh, Celtic Guardian or Rescue Rabbit or Unexpected Die. 
Um, hopefully you have parallel exceed. You can get more exceeds plays or just climb up into access code because you should be able to at that point. Um, Lightning Storm for Eldritch just because that's just the way life is right now. Um, <laughs> then we have the same things you saw earlier. This gets out any Celtic Guardian. Goblinberg gets out any Warrior. Goblinberg into this gets out more things. Goblinberg into Rescue Rabbit. Or Rescue Rabbit gets out two of these. Um, Parallel Exceed is just anytime we link summon, we get out another Parallel Exceed from hand and deck. Um, using each of their effects one after the other. Um, for hand traps, I'm running Joel and Lockbird because I noticed that with Ash Blossom, a lot of the combo decks I'm facing in Platinum, like, I don't know. It's just that, like, a single Ash Blossom just stopped mattering, <laughs> like, at certain points. So if I can let them get a single search, and a lot of time people will bait with their first search. Um, and then just get them to not search for the rest of the turn. They're just kind of screwed. I was playing Nibiru, but it just never was going off. Called by helps me during my turn and during my opponent's turn, so it's just one of the best ones. I'm mad this isn't at two in the TCG. It's awesome that it is here. And, uh, yeah, Fiendish Chain so I can double or nothing. Uh, Lightning Storm for Eldritch. Earth Barrier for Control if I go first and get out three monsters, but... Which is usually, like, uh... Actually, oh yeah, I took out Summoner Monk, so I can't really do that anymore by searching for Barrier Statue. Because I would do Goblin Burke, Summoner Monk, search for Barrier Statue, but that was like a four-card combo, so I was like, that kind of sucks. Uh, that's right, two Scapegoat. Helps Link Summon, which is pretty pretty awesome. Um, you can go into this guy, bring out one of these guys, or go into this guy and just start doing two offs three offs and then access code uh if you have a normal summon because you usually set scapegoat and use it during your opponent's turn because you can't special you can't um summon other monsters after you activate this so you have to do it during your opponent's turn um <clears throat> but it's so many free materials it's just so free um so we're gonna try it out um i have not played this in ranked in a long time <laughs> like since i was first uh climbing from gold to platinum um in season one i mean uh, yep, we're gonna play with this. Let's see how we do. The funny thing about this deck, though, is that a lot of my combos just use stuff for my hands. Like, a lot of the searches for my deck are, like, baits a lot of time. Um, we go second. Um, <laughs> and, uh, a lot of time people play specific hand traps in ranked mode that go against, like, big combo decks, and this is not that, so we'll see. Oh, no hand traps. That's unfortunate, but we'll see. Dargan. Oh my god, Tri Brigade. This is bad. <laughs> We're in danger. Tri Brigade usually brings out the Link 3 Tri Brigade and something else. And, like, some face downs. We can get it rid of the face downs. Set Scapegoat. Set Fiendish Chain. Hopefully Rescue Rabbit, maybe? Um... Also, Tri Brigade's all Earth, so my Earth Barrier Statue Control is nothing. Um, Link 2 right away with Fractal. Or Karas. Karas. Um, special Summon from the Hand. Oh, I should have showed off the uh, win-loss for the XZs event, because I've, I only played that Celtic Guardian deck for the entire event. I know there was a lot of self-TKs, but I still had a lot of fun with it and was facing a, plenty of good people. Plenty of people were playing decent decks. Um, try, try Zoo. Two materials. Do you have full zoo package plus Zeus or um Honestly they could make because I feel like the Tri Brigade Link 3 is more of a going second card. Um I mean I chose to go second, so maybe that's why, but um 
Maybe he'll do Appalooza instead, um, which would make sense. Not anymore. Um... Fractal. Um. Okay. This is sent to the graveyard. Someone try to get a card from deck to the graveyard. All right, cool. Um, also using the fractal ability to get the link three. Okay. Um, oh, this is the going first one. Okay, that makes sense. Um, revolt, special summon, blah, 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 blah. negate their effects. Uh, then link summon. Uh, setting that. We'll get rid of that. Um, yeah. Uh, what does this do? Uh, special summon one level four. From your hand or graveyard, negate its effects, return it to the hand during the end phase, send to the graveyard, make all monsters burn control, so it's 300 uh, for each monster type you control until the end. Okay. Um, actually, this is way better than the board he had out or, or like, this is better for us than the board he had out earlier, which is the Dryden and the Link, too. I thought he was going to keep the Dryden out and do some other Link stuff. <clears throat> so that's a little weird, but we're going to see how this goes. Um, cause I think I can just do this. He might link again with the trap right now. Yeah, but then I can at least see what I can do still. Um, no, do not activate scapegoat. <laughs> we'll be so fucked. Um. Cause, uh, we should try to do an XZ's play here. Cause we don't have parallel exceed, so we can't link climb. Um, and we have scapegoat to set for next turn so we can use that to link climb next turn um, a lot of his things seem to just mess up monsters I believe then you immediately link summon is this when he brings out Appalooza cuz that'd be pretty cool I think they were all distinct names oh okay well yeah the tri brigade link for discard a special summon banish one card of the field if it's sent to the graveyard blah 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 no. Um, kit. Sent the graveyard. <clears throat> I'm deck to the graveyard. Okay, cool. Um, let's set some stuff so that it stops asking me to activate it. <laughs> True. Combo for next turn. Set. Uh, I don't think he has Ash. I think we know his hand. And I think it's that and another thing he searched last turn. Uh, if we double or nothing, does that leave me with enough materials to go into Zeus? Because we discard one from double make that discard another we have two we have enough for zeus and then we just zeus him next turn with whatever he gets out and okay or we try to eat one of his cards so we don't send it to the graveyard, particularly this one, and then we just... Oh, we can't attack if we do that, and then we can't make Zeus. Um... Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna do something kind of risky. I'm gonna double or nothing and go for big damage. Try to go for Zeus next turn. Um, 
Oh, actually, that's bad because I have scapegoat set. Up. Maybe I just eat his monster then, and um, I really want to get rid of both of his guys if I can. But I don't think I see a way to do that. Um. Sheesh. I kind of do want to go for the big damage because I'm pretty sure I can get away with it. And then. Just safety play. Zeus. And in case he has like a lightning storm or a harpies uh, in back row. Um. And honestly, just keep the Zeus out as bait. Yeah, I kind of like, I just kind of like that idea. So let's just see what we can do with it. Um, I forget he still has the ability to special summon with the, I think the Link 3 over here. Ah, okay, so it was Ash. Well, now we know. Um, okay. Um, okay. We pass. Uh, shit. What's up, Border? What you got? <laughs> Let's see more plays. Um,. <laughs> True. Ah, oh, damn it. I can't chain anything to this. Um. Hmm. No, my scapegoats! That's how I was gonna kill you. And I was gonna go into access code, you fuck. True. Try Zoo, though. Yeah, a little bit higher tier than Celtic Guardian. I will grant him that, you know. Ooh, will that be enough? Do you have the other link in the graveyard still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> That'll do. Oh, wait. True. Honestly, I should have normal summoned Earth. Nah, that wouldn't have helped. He has a bunch of air stuff. If I had a Fiendish Chain and Scapegoat set, maybe I could have just done that. Make sure he doesn't get uh, access or Zeus and then... Oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah. Blink full. That'll do, sir. I'll take that. See, when I get into Platinum, I usually switch to Virtual World, but... um, I just want to see. I just want to try. I want to see another duel too. Because like every duel I'm in with Virtual World, sometimes I'm like, man, I could honestly just finish this right now with if I had like a certain hand in this deck. Um, I've never even seen this. Well, I think I have, but rarely. <coughs> okay, yeah, I was wondering if you had Opelousa because I was wondering why you didn't do that when you went first. Um, true, get another fractal. No, okay, true. Um, fair enough. <coughs> you never saw the Celtic Guardians come. Um,. Ba, 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 ba. This might derank me, but I don't really care. Uh, I can always just rank back up pretty easily. Um, honestly, if I get back in gold, I can just keep playing with this, and it'll probably be fine. Because um, I've ranked up to platinum with this before. <coughs> I'm going second. Cool. I wish I had three infinite impermanence for this deck. That would really make it a lot better while I'm going second. Because uh, a lot of time they'll normal summon their combo piece, which will have less than 2,000. I can infinite impermanence it. Then uh, just double or nothing. Um, 
This is a cool hand. We could rescue Rabbit, get out two Celtic Guardians, link a Link Spider, get out Parallel Exceed, get out another um, Parallel Exceed. So we'll have three materials and a uh, Celtic Guardian. Um, we can Xyz with these two. We could. We actually can make access code from there because Celtic Guardian's normal. Um, Springin's Bodie. <laughs> True. Uh, face up Xyz monster you control leaves the field. Okay. Get Gol Golganda. Uh, use that to special summon the Springin's Xyz monster. I have faced this deck. It is a very fun deck to play against. Um. True. Are you gonna okay? Springins plus Ma Machina. That seems like actually really cool. Time thief. Okay, this is like straight from the XCs event because it's using a bunch of like just XCs formats like Machina, Springins, Time Thief. Those are just three XCs <laughs> decks mashed up together. Fortress. True. I think you'll be able to get that out, and then for sure. Oh wait, why wouldn't you get out the XCs? So you might not be playing it. Um, so I think you have to have no monsters. Yeah, if you have no monsters, you can XC some. Um, true. Merrymaker. Put me a deck to the graveyard. Vanish this card till the end phase. Make a vanish this card with two or more XVs material. You can also send one fusion from the extra deck to the graveyard that lists Fallen of Alba's. Yeah. My friend was playing a Springins deck and didn't play this for the longest time. And I was like, that sounds amazing. And especially, I mean, when that new Fallen of Alba's support comes out, it's going to be like fucking insane mode. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm gonna harpies uh right away. Cause I know he doesn't have like any kind of negate out or anything, so I just wanna see what his back row is. Since we have Unexpected Die and Rescue Rabbit, I think we'll for sure be able to link. And then we can probably just access code, hopefully. Targeted machine you control, special summon machine with different name. Uh, if you do destroy the targeted monster, you can banish. Um, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target three of your machine monsters that are banished and or in your graveyard, shuffle them into your deck. Um, and draw a card. Okay. Probably bring out one with a quick effect, I assume, maybe? Discard one other, well, okay, that doesn't work. During your opponent's turn, quick effect, target one machine monster you control, special summon from your deck, one, what is that? Citadel. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, we called by that. What do you do? Um, target one machine you control, special summon one. Okay, so you can't do that right now because um, you don't, I mean, you have a spring ins, but it doesn't have a level. So you can't actually do that right now. So that's fine. Um, let's just try to climb into access code. Plus, I just want to show everybody the fact that this deck can do that, like, pretty simply. If he had an Ash, we would be baiting it out right now with Unexpected Die. Um, Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, banish this card. Yeah, and then you send 
fusion material. Yeah, yeah. Bop. Got the Guardian, the brain eraser. He never saw this coming. Um, then, do we do this first or Link first and then XE? I'm not sure which is safer. If we do Rescue Rabbit first, because if he discards Elder Entity and Tisk, because I think that's an option for the Fallen of Allbaugh's play. Or is that a Dogmatica Punishment I'm thinking of? There's one that like destroys a card on the field. If he destroys one, I'm still fine. <clears throat> Pretty sure. If it's destroyed too, then I definitely should have <laughs> like summon first. But we're gonna see how this goes. Um. The Celtic Guardians, you the three Celtic Guardians. They never saw this coming. Um, and then do we definitely link play? Yeah, because we can't even like. There's nothing that would really help us here, so let's definitely just get out access code, do some big damage, and see where that leads us. Select here. Um, bam. Parallel exceed. Um, yeah, and we're gonna try to... Ah, oh, damn. Um, yeah. I guess we do... Excess code is safer. Uh, there's a Link 3 I like to use in this deck. It's Draco Masters of the Tenyi. That's recommended in, in like a lot of the videos for Celtic Guardian because... Uh, his effect is, he can't be destroyed by battle with non with a, he can't be destroyed by battle with effect monsters uh, and he has an ability that he can destroy monsters your opponent controls up to the number of normal monsters you control or in your graveyard uh, so any Celtic Guardian you've used on your field or in your graveyard automatically becomes like really useful to you when you're using this guy but we're gonna link climb into him using different attributes so we can get access code um, yeah I think we just make Access code at 53. Um, but we want one of the last ones to be a Parallax Seed. We want to get rid of the Rescue Rabbit Celtic Guardian first. Because, uh, you know, it'll get destroyed during the end phase anyway. Um, no applicable card for Nightmare Phoenix. This should probably be IP Masquerina, honestly. Um, especially if I'm playing it in rank to this high up. It's just that, like, I needed more back row clear against, like, Outlitch and everything. <laughs> so I switched it out, and there's already not that much Link support, so... Do I have enough for access code and to leave out this Celtic Guardian? Because that's kind of funny. Um, yeah, because I can save that for... Other plays, or if I have to... Yeah. Um... Yeah. Access code is just safer. Um, here we go. So this is the guy I was talking about. Can't be destroyed by battle with effect. You can, if you have no other effect monsters on the field, you can activate its effect. So right now we can't even use it, which is why I was thinking about maybe making him with different materials. But then we can't make, make access code because access code needs two effect monsters, at least. Um, and we make the big guy. And now we get rid of his spring ins, which would usually quick quick affect itself out of there and uh, banish itself, so that it would just come back during the end phase. But we can't we can't be having that happening. <coughs> and uh, we're just gonna get rid of both cards because we just don't want him to have a board after this. Let's go, kill the guardians, you. <laughs> and uh, we still have two more pops next turn. Uh, Hit him with access for 53. Hit him with another Celtic Guardian for 14, boy. And then, uh, yeah, even if he outs this uh, access code, uh, Celtic Guardian can attack for game. Um, so, <laughs> in a pretty good spot here. <laughs> I 
I think this is uh, the shuffle three and then draw one. Target three in your graveyard, shuffle into the deck, draw one. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Gold Sea, Gold God, Gold Ganda, I swear. If it's the field spell. I mean, what else was he playing? I mean, he was mostly playing Machina, so I guess I shouldn't be worried about the field spell as much. But it lets you get out a monster for free if you have none. This is a cool combo, though. Like, I like that this guy combined these two. I, I should probably try to show this to my friend if I can find it. End phase, let's go! <laughs> Come on! I'm just gonna I'm just gonna attack with Celtic Guardian for game and platinum boys. Let's go! Boom! <laughs> we did it to him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Got him. Alright. Sick. <laughs> Fucking awesome. We need four more for platform. That's kind of a lot. I'm a little tired. I might stop soon. Um, oh, just wanted to show one or two things. I think I wanted to show. Oh shit. Oh yeah, the dailies. That's why I did that. Um, sick. Um, do one rank duel three. Do one solo. Solo. Oh wow. Yeah, I still have to. So those are all just solo mode, and I just need one more rank duel. Uh, oh, and I just need to win one more, huh? And more spells, traps. Uh, oh, I really have not done this in a while. Um, but let's go. Um, I was playing every day, just wasn't actually not until this week was I playing every day. But uh, went on vacation for a week, so I stopped messing with it. Actually, I might just play more in ranked. Because I just need to activate one more spell card for this. 20. I haven't used Fiendish Chain, but I usually do. Um, I just need to duel and win one more time. Um, how are my gems? Uh, I'm not really close to another 10 pull, so it's not really worth. Um, how am I feeling? How long have I been doing this? Two hours. Okay. Okay. Um, real quick, where's the exhibition? This was the record with Celtic Guardians, 75% <laughs> win rate in XE's festival with Celtic Guardians. There was some self TK, not a, like a good amount, like I played like 5 to 10 self TKs I think. But I, I only started playing, like I played one night while that was happening, not for too long, and then the next day I really played more. Um, I think I did get like four or five in a row one time though, which was really funny. Um, which makes that 13 consecutive probably a little less impressive, but still not bad. Um, for the exhibition, I think. Uh, consecutive exhibition 13. <laughs> um, oh man. Do we do like two more ranked and then see how we go? Let me check out the missions one more time and then we'll see. Spell, duel, yeah, yeah, at least one more. Um, at least one more, and we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Since I showed off the Zeus plays with the Xyz combos, uh, a lot of this deck is like you guys probably already know it by now. Um, but uh, the link plays are a lot of fun. I mean, I just showed you the combo. That's like one of the best combos you can do just to get off link plays. Just getting out the link three is good too, though, if you can. Um, oh, shit. Oh, man. I'm going second. I like Lightning Storm going second. And Dragon Ravine. Dragon Link deck. I think uses a lot of level eights. Oh, level four. Okay. Dragoonity. Okay. Dragoonity Dragon Link, maybe. Oh, man. Damn, it's level twos. I can't use my Monster Reborn on his cards. 
Yo, I love his, like, character thing. Is that from the new solo mode? I haven't even checked that out. I have to do that still. Um, I could grind that out with Celtic Guardian. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just split this into, like, three videos. One being the XZ's Festival, one being Ranked, and then one being uh, solo mode. Um, all with Celtic Guardian. <laughs> That's a level four. That's what I'm talking about. Put that in your graveyard. Do it. Wow, he used a lot of cards just to get to that. Um, but I know a lot of these are going to have graveyards effects. Mm -hmm. Are you going to synchro? Yo, synchro, bro. Remember, I need to activate at least one more spell card. That's the requirement. <laughs> uh, add level four, lower dragon or wing beast. Cool. Oh my god. Why don't we play black wings? Oh, did he just discard it? Oh, it's in your graveyard. Return one face up. Uh, wow. If you do take 400 damage. What is happening? <laughs> is, he, is he pivoting from dragon dragoonity into black wings? Because that's kind of amazing. <laughs> okay, Link. Okay, Romulus. That makes sense. Damn, what a crazy way to get this out. Like, I have been playing somebody with a Dragon Link deck, and I think it's just the one Sam made. Um, but it's, like, cleverly made, and, like, I... Dragonity Glow. Um, True. Um, ba 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 ba. Special summon and defense. True. Link climb after equipping. What? Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, I see. So he's gonna equip the. Okay, that, and then banish the spell. Special summon this and defense, but have its effects negated. And then Link climb into the Link 2 again? Like, what? I, I'm still kind of confused. <laughs> Because you got rid of the Link too, which I'm like, but why? Also, if he does like a huge giant galaxy brain play and I just lightning storm, I'm going to be a little bit sad. <laughs> Yo, baby rock. Oh my God. <laughs> Special summon the baby rock. Okay, we've got, oh man, he's going to bring out Boral Sword. Or is he going to do a level 6 XEs, bring out something else? Like, dude, this is, like, he has so many options here. Yeah, level 6 XEs, bring out something else, maybe Synchro. Once per turn, special summon a dragon monster. Yo, that's so cool. This is insane. This is so big brain. I haven't seen this. At least, like, not that much. Like, Yo, Red MD at 3 is hilarious. <laughs> That's just free. Like, it's so free. Like, it's such a good card. Um, failing. Oh, do you... Oh, he already banished the spell. I was going to say banish the spell, equip Phalanx, and then special summon it for free. Um, Boral load? Yeah, Boral Savage is what I thought. So that's a negate. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I think I just bait that out with Monster Reborn. <laughs> and then try to Lightning Storm. Because <laughs> his negation is any card effect, but it's only once per turn. Heractic Seal. You contribute, uh, return one face of card on the field of your hand. This is insanity. <laughs> this is like two of my friends' decks combined. Um, into one. <laughs> True, just keep going. Barka! Oh my god. Yo! Okay. Yo! 
is the uh, Boral Sword negate and destroy or just negate? Oh, it's just negate. Do we bait the negate with uh, Goblinburg, which we weren't even gonna use, and then um... oh, he's gonna return it to the hand with this probably. That would be unfortunate. Um, I wish I had one more card that he had to respond to. Um, but it looks like he's gonna bring out another negate or like Apalooza, which is like insane on top of all of this already. IP and then Apalooza? No. Okay. Some other cracked crazy shit. Okay, so now he has. Banish that card. This card destroys and punish most of the Uh, Is this just monster effect? Yeah, these are just monster effects. Um. Okay. It doesn't really matter what I try to monster born as long as I can get his Boral Sword to go off. Uh, and then I think I can just Lightning Storm his whole board. So let's just try! <laughs> um, I want to bring... We'll see. Red MD, kind of. Because that's like such a crucial piece to like a lot of things. And this will make him think I'm also playing drag. Oh, come on. Don't max C. Why would you max C, bro? What the fuck? <laughs> ah, okay. Honestly, that sucks, actually. That really fucking sucks. Um. <laughs> I really, really, really wanted to lightning storm this guy. Hmm. Actually, I kind of have an idea. No, I still can't activate it. It still won't fucking let me activate it. Um. Oh, I was gonna bait it out with Goblinberg and then activate it, but I still need no face up cards on the field, which he fucked up because he let me Monsterborn his stupid fucking red MD. <laughs> um, okay. Um, then I'll have no play this turn, but also hopefully he'll not have as much next turn. <laughs> which is not a lot to count on, but at least I'll be able to do my link plays next turn a little bit. Um. Trust. Just trust. This is gonna look bad, but just trust. Yeah, I know he's gonna do that. Tribute this, send this back. Negate this with... Oh, shit. He can do it with either, so it doesn't matter. He's not going to use Boral Sword. Um, let's just pray. Let's just try it anyway. Damn it. All right, yeah. He used the right one. He has a brain. He has Brian. That'll banish it. All right. Oh my god. Yeah, there's no way. Um, yeah, I can't even set anything. Um, hmm. <sighs> Damn it. I just needed to bait out one fucking thing. Whatever.
<coughs> oh god, sorry. <coughs> <coughs> I think my friend was thinking about making this deck, but um, it seems really similar to another one he was making, or has already had actually. Mm. I mean, it seems like it does a lot more, but um, like it has like just like engine that keeps going. Um. Well, like, I don't know if you noticed, but this duel is another example of what I was talking about earlier, where, like, if I had a single Ash Blossom, nothing would have stopped, like, what he was doing. Like, if I had Droll in my hand, that 100% would have stopped his whole turn. Like, that would have been way better in that situation. Alright. So we lost the duel, but we cut off two more missions. Um, let's see. Uh, do I go again? Oh no, I'm sorry Rescue Rabbit. I failed you, my friend. Um, bop. I think that's like, okay, yeah, 70 gems, pretty cool. Um, cool bro. Um, trap and ranked, win a duel and ranked. Uh, she's gonna win one more. Um, maybe. Yeah, if it's too combo heavy and I get, uh, if I don't get any hand traps, there's just not much option. Because, like, my engine is just not as fast <laughs> as clearly as, like, Dragoonity or, like, I don't know, something crazy like Virtual World. Like, you know, because the engine is three of these Celtic Guardian cards and uh, a bunch of warrior support. So there's not much good, not much doing. Um, but, yeah. Um, I kind of want to try to win one more, but... Um, hmm. also really tired though, and it's already been like two and a half hours, really. Uh, and it's gonna be tough enough splitting this up, but let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. How many duels did I play in ranked either? I feel like I won one and lost one. I may have lost one before that, I don't really remember. Or, um, actually, I've never even looked at this list really that closely. <laughs> I got to plat 5 last season, and then I got to plat 5 yesterday or two days ago after being on vacation. I'm gonna grind more with Virtual World and try to get higher, but, um, Mitch. Oh, jeez, what happened? Why did my whole history get cleared? What the fuck? That's so weird. How the fuck did that happen? Um, that's bizarre. Uh, five more wins, plat tier four. That means I can lose one more time without deranking, so I might as well just try it again. Uh, I'll be right back though. Um, give me one sec.
Oh. Okay, we're doing it one more at least. In uh, <clears throat> in the Xyz festival, I feel like the Celtic Guardian had like 75% win rate. Well, as you saw, it did. And uh, in this, it probably has like a 50% win rate. It just depends how combo heavy the deck is going first. Um, I should probably maybe go first sometimes and just Baguska, and like that'll be enough to stop a lot of combos, honestly. Um, but it just depends what I've been facing recently. Well, we have Droll, so if they have a big combo thing, I can probably just hold it up for a sec at least. Oh, he only has 8 extra deck. What the fuck? And he's playing 42 just like me. Yo! Based. <coughs> this deck was at 40, but, you know, Lightning Storm because Eldritch. But is Eldritch banned? I think it's just the XC's Festival, so I don't think it really matters that much. <coughs> oh, man. After this one, though, I am probably going to hop off, uh, regardless of how it goes. Um, trying to <coughs> cap off uh, part three of JoJo. Um, not going to lie. <laughs> My friend, while I was on vacation, got me to start watching it. It's very funny. It's a good time. Um, reaching just about that point where we'll be maximum entertaining. Hey, boss, it's your move. What's good, bro? Let me flip the fish. That always works. I don't think they can see that, but... They are think-thonking. <coughs> oh, man. what okay you can activate magical musketeer spell or traps from your hand if the spell or trap is activated in this card's column you can special summon level four lower from your deck and defense position you can only use this effect once per turn okay interesting so not a combo heavy deck um i guess we start this Luckily we have two called by, so even if we get ashed, it's really not that big of a deal. <laughs> oh yeah. Negate the activation if you do destroy. Oh, negate and destroy. Oh. Deck specific negate. Okay. Archetype specific negate. I like it. Um, then you special summon a level four lower magical musketeer, I guess. True. Dang, my hand this tur this <laughs> damn it. My hand this duel would have been better against most usual decks. Uh but this guy's playing something cool actually. Um So the Celtic Guardian I can summon can't really attack if I have cards in my hand, which I want to keep most of these cards in my hand, I'm not gonna lie. Um hmm. <laughs> Yeah, and if he can't attack, there's not much point in bringing him out, because I might as well just wait till I can bring out another play. We have called by. We have harpies. Um, I feel like I should just save this in my hand. I'm at 8k. I don't know what this deck really does. I don't even know if it can. The musketeers. I don't think he could do 8k with four with five cards, because he's gonna get four cards, and if he searches another one, Droll will let that go through, and I'll negate the rest. So 
So that negates a spell or trap. And he specifically searched that because I had one set. So we can activate that from his hand next turn. So that's good to know. But we can actually call by that card. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. No, right? Holy shit, that looks amazing. It's a number of monsters your opponent controls. Oh, I'm special so much. Um. I don't. Oh, up to number of spells and drops. Okay. Um, no. I can't even, like, stop that from happening. It's specials from the deck, so... <clears throat> I see why he was think thonking so hard, though. This all seems really specific. Oh shit, wait. I was supposed to draw a Mockbird that. Ah, man. It's getting too late. I'm getting, uh... Dual fatigue. You've read too many cards and you're like, Ah, well, it's time for bed, actually. <laughs> Verte! Alright, sure. by this? Does that work? If I called by the fusion spell, it's not sent from the deck to the graveyard. So will it fuck up Anaconda's effect? <clears throat> I'm wondering when he's gonna even fusion summon here, though. Like, Red Eyes Fusion and I think, like, Branded Fusion are the only two cards that work, and, I, and Branded Fusion is not in this game. That, like, special summon from the deck, I mean. Um, if there's a, like, Musketeer fusion, that would work from his hand and field. Um, I don't even think called buying will negate this, will it? Um, Neos fusion. Let's just try it. I have another one in my hand for next turn that I can use against that trap he's gonna activate from his hand. Oh man. Oh, it's a, oh, it only works on monsters. I'm I am so tired. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm so dumb. Um, shit ass. Okay. Ah, oh, frick. Okay, my bad. We'll get him next time, boys. Yeah. In my head, I was just like, graveyard effect. I got it. Um, press button. Oh shit, this is enough damage. This is like barely enough damage. I underestimated him. That's fair. I should have definitely put something out, I guess, but... We live and we learn. Bruh, I played like Sleepy Joe there. <clears throat> oh man. I think after I lose here, I derank, but... <laughs> Do we do it anyway? Nah, I'm pretty tired. 
Uh, I think I just call it here. Uh, I had a lot of fun dueling in the XCs festival anyway, so, um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, I'll be posting this later. If you watch, thanks for watching. Or if you're watching my stream, I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, alright, later. Uh, this was Count the Guardians ranked in XCs festival, dude. Yeah. Um... I'll probably be making a Karibo deck next, and I think that's the next one that I think would be interesting enough to make a video for. <laughs> um, I think a lot of people know that deck next deck, but it'd be fun to see it played, I feel like. Um, I'll just play circus music in the background.